Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, before you see this next clip, I'm just letting y'all know, I'm letting y'all see the real me. So don't judge, okay? Okay. No. She, yeah. she wasn't ready. You see how big that head is? Oh, Jesus Christ. But anywho, guys, so I got my stocking cap on. I get like a tan complexion. I don't need one that's white or brown. I like to make it the color that I want. So I'm just taking my foundation and putting it onto the cap. And I'm making it like how far, I go in as far back as my frontal goes. So wherever your frontal starts and begins, that's where you really want to put the foundation on the caps because that's where the scalp is going to be. Which is why you got a frontal, okay? I didn't really go into detail with the stocking cap method because there's a million videos of it on YouTube. So you could just search stocking cap method, you know? Anywho, now that I got that on, I'm putting my wig on. It still has the extra lace on it. Right now we are doing the fitting process. This is just allowing us to see okay I'll, it looks good this way maybe it needs to be shifted to the left maybe it needs to be shifted to the right we don't know but that's why we're putting it on to find out i have the hairs clipped back because just to keep the baby hairs out the way and so i can see things better so i'm just pulling it down like i said i'm sizing myself up okay figuring this out move it to the left move it to the right move it back do that, 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 to that. All of that good jazz. Me stop her because you know jazz means jazz. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Anywho, so we just getting all them extra hairs out the way, honey, so we can see. All right, I want the ear tabs right there, and yeah, we just figuring things out, getting our life together. So now that we got our life together, I'm going to take. Um, a white eyeliner and I'm going to mimic my hairline so do y'all remember when I told y'all my hairline kind of resembles the McDonald's M I'm basically doing that so my sideburns on my right side come out further than my left so that's what these dots are these dots are going to help me cut along the lace so that way when I take it off because I don't cut it while it's on my head I do that with my clients but for myself for some reason I can't cut it while it's on my head I have to take it off and cut it but when I have clients I can cut it while it's on their head so I really don't need to do this step but for myself I have to do this because it's just it's just what I gotta do you know so until you get used to it or whatever works best for you this is what I do and I'm I create these lines because you don't want to just cut the lace straight across and have that square hairline no one wants to look like spongebob and you also don't want to have it where your sideburns are poking out because i've had that before where even still to this day sometimes like my it's only on my my right side my right side always gives me the hardest time because my sideburns come out my edges, I mean, come out really further on my right. I've been thinking about cutting them, but I'm just like, I don't want to mess them up. But I don't know. I'm going to have to show y'all one day. Like, my sideburns on my right come out way further than my left. And it's so annoying, especially with wigs, because I always have to put more lace on the right side just because of that factor. But right now, I'm just seeing, like, pulling these hairs down to see, like, where I want the, the ear tabs to be. And you're going to cut some hair. It's all right. It's, you know, some people try to avoid it. I don't really care. I cut the ear part while it's on my ear. That part I do. I said while it's on my ear. <laughs> while it's on my head, I definitely cut the ear tabs off. Because it's just easier for me to do. And that's me showing you. You can try to take as little hair as you, you want away. But, I mean... I have so many bundles in my hair that little that piece of hair ain't gonna make no difference for it to be gone. But you got some people who like to save every piece of strand, so you know, do what works for you, but had to get them ear tabs out. You are so serious. 
Yo, I notice like as I'm watching these videos, I be mad serious. Like rest in bitch face. Cause I be so focused. <laughs> so I like how it looks. Gave you the thumbs up to let you know, like, yeah, I like it. So you're gonna take it off. Don't worry about those white dots, okay? They're gonna go away. So I use the ghost bond glue. Um, this is my you know, this is my first real official glue beside the gots to be glued which i use got to be glued to um in the free spray to do the stocking cap method but i actually like it it's really sticky though like it gets mad sticky i normally apply it with um my you know like those brushes you use to perm your hair or put hair dye in your hair i have a mini one but i couldn't find it so I just asked my mom, well, I went in my mom's nurse bag and took one of her, her little popsicle stick things out. So, and I'm impatient. Like I told y'all, usually five minutes you let it dry, but I took the easy way out and used the blow dryer. Now, I use these scissors with the ridges on them. I have a smaller pair, but they broke. So I only have the big pair left. I use that because it makes the hairline imperfect. It makes it have these ridges in them. Like, you know, like little ripples or whatever. And it makes the hairline really imperfect, especially when you cut along your dots and you're already cutting imperfectly anyway. So it just makes it look better. But I don't leave it like that because sometimes those little triangles do stick out. So what I do, I put it on. I didn't show this in the video, but I'm going to tell you guys. When I put it on, I take a pair of regular scissors and cut some of those little edges off a little bit. So now you got some ridges, some without ridges, some with ridges. You want to make this look as imperfect as possible because that's how a hairline is. Like I keep stressing to you guys, no one's hairline is perfect. So now I'm applying the wig after I put two layers of that ghost bond on. I put two layers. So that's what we're doing. Just trying to get all these extra flyaways away. I'm telling y'all, this stuff is like, I don't even like gum. Like, it's just so sticky. It's kind of annoying how sticky it is, but I don't know. I want to try that bowl holds glue, so maybe I'll get that and apply that next time. But I heard some good and more bad about that than you know anything and tay arrogant tay he uses ghost blonde so i love him he's my favorite so you know i'm doing that i always do the apply the middle first because that's the easiest part to lay down your sides are super hard to lay down especially if you have mine where my hair goes all the way basically to like my ear my sideburns are really long so i have, have to make sure those are gelled and put away so I'm just sticking all of that down right now. And you know, pulling it forward, pulling it back if it needs to. You know, just trying to fix it and make sure everything is tied down and stuck to that glue. So you're gonna tie your scarf on there and leave that on for five minutes. Now I'm taking, after your scarf comes off, I'm taking my, um, some eyeshadow that's I just blend these browns together to make my color and I'm putting it on the lace. This is also going to help with concealing the lace and making it more, you know, skin like. I do this because in the beginning, that glue, I noticed that glue, it dry, it has like a cast to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it has this weird, like, it, it dries it dries clear but on the lace like it shows up for some reason i don't know if it's the cat the stocking cap or what but like you can like it dries really bright but it dries clear i don't know if that makes sense so i just put some powder on top of it use your powder your foundation powder and put it on top and literally it looks seamless like you can't see anything so that's what I'm doing. Um, if you get glue on your skin, it's going to dry white. So that's what you see me trying to like pull off. I had, and if you saw my face washing video, which was uploaded before this, I was trying to scrub all that extra glue off 
and this is why I was trying to scrub the extra glue off. I do, I tend to do this all the time. Normally, I apply my wigs before I do my makeup because I always end up having to take extra glue off because sometimes, like, as I'm applying the wig, I'll be like, okay, I like it this way, but then when I put it on, I'll be like, no, I need to move it back. No, I need to move it forward. So then I always end up having extra glue. So, but since my makeup was done for the video, you know, I couldn't really, like, wipe it away how I wanted to, but that's basically it. That's all that is. It's just extra glue because I decided like, oh, I don't want to move it that far down on my forehead. I have a small forehead, but a big head. Weird. So now my favorite part, baby hairs. I'm just taking out what I want to put down as baby hairs. And I always do my baby hairs how I do my real hair. I don't try to do them any differently because then I'm not going to like them. I always do them how I do my real baby hairs. I have my widow's peak. Then I have about two real deep ones on each side and then I have my sideburns curled up. That's how I do it when I wear my high puffs and everything. Now these are thinning shears right here. I use thinning shears because I need to thin out the lace. I mean not the lace, I need to thin out the hairs for the baby hairs because you don't want thick baby hairs. So I just thin the hairs out and it also like cuts it a little bit. So that's all I'm doing here. I'm just thinning these hairs out. So the baby hairs won't be so, they won't be grown people hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They'll be babies, not adult hairs. <laughs> so getting that together. Yes, honey. Look at that scalp. Yes. And like this blue, it takes a while for it to really, really, really dry where you can't see it. Like, especially when it's on your skin and, and I have foundation on so it has like this weird brown color to it. But you know, it still looks great. And now I'm taking um, a blade, like you know what you use for your eyebrows or something like the eyebrow cutter. And this just helps me like cut the extra hairs because I don't want them long neither, but I don't want them too, too short. I usually take my foam and make the baby hairs first so I can see where to cut. I don't like to just try to cut because once you cut, it's no going back. So I make my baby hairs like you see me doing here. And I'm like, okay, maybe I need to cut a little more hair. Maybe I need to thin it a little more. Like you have to play with it until you like it. Don't just keep cutting, don't keep thinning. Like, you have to really like see how to see how the swoop is. I'm like, okay, that's just cool. I like this one. I'll keep this one. And it's gonna be somewhere I do the swoop and I'm like, oh, that's a little too thick. I need to thin it a little more. Or, oh, that's too long. I gotta cut it some more. You gotta fix it. A wig won't look like a wig if you are cust if you customize it to how you want it to look. So that's where people go wrong. People think you could just take a wig. Even the ones you get from the beauty supply, people think you could just take it out the package, put it on, and go. No, you have to frame your face and fix it to how you like it. So it won't look like a wig and you won't feel like you're wearing a wig. If that makes sense, you know? So I'm doing my baby hairs. And it's always the side that I have the work. Even with my wigs, I can never do my baby hairs on the side, on my right side, which is also the side with the longest hair. I can never do the baby hairs. I'm going to say it's because I'm left-handed. <laughs> Can't tell me different. But yes, honey, them swoops is for the gods. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yes, honey. Yes, get that. No sideburns. Yes. And then y'all see that highlight? Um, galaxy on your face. I mean, again, why look at the stars when you got the galaxy on your face? I mean, come on. Hello. So you see me cutting again? I'm like, okay, my sideburns was too long. So let me cut some more. And then we gonna get that too. I want to get that brush. You know the one that it's like it look like a toothbrush on one end and got a real little 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 comb on the other end. I want it, but then a part of me is like I'm loyal to this toothbrush that I'm using. I'm real loyal. I don't had this for years. Okay, years. I'm like I don't feel comfortable. I don't try changing toothbrushes and everything. I just love this toothbrush. I built a bond with this toothbrush, okay? 
and my casket put this toothbrush in it. Me and this toothbrush go way back, okay? So, I do want that other little brush thing, but, you know, this little blue, this little blue drone right here, my go-to. So, I'm just showing you that the baby hairs for me are always a struggle. Which is why I'm so focused on this right now. But yes, you see that? Ooh. Ooh. And look, I decided, like, okay, that needs to get thinned out. So, thin, baby. Thin. But you gotta be careful with them thinning shears. They're real sharp. And they do cut as well. So, you gotta be careful. Don't get too high up from where you're not trying to be. Or don't apply too much pressure. And look at me trying to use a comb. I suck at making baby hairs. For real, for real. Not even gonna hold you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ooh. Ew. <laughs> you feeling yourself, Jay? I know. I know you are. <laughs> So now we got all them baby hairs laid. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. So now we can take our little duck clips off. And that's the got to be free spray. And I'm going to take my hot comb and just straighten that a little bit. You need the hot comb. The hot comb is the other key to this wig slay. It keeps it from being real poofy at the top where you know like it looks like a hat. So this lays it down and keeps it all slick and put together. So look at that. Okay. You need a hot comb. If you ain't got a hot comb, you gotta find a way to get a hot comb. Take an iron or something. Nah, I'm dead. Nah, don't 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 try it with an iron. I would just fool it. You get what I'm trying to say. You can even use a curling wand. And if you can't afford to get a curling wand, I'm pretty sure you got one of them curlers with the clamps on it. Unscrew the clamp. Take the um, screws out and you got a curling wand and save the clamp and when you want to use it as a curler, put the clamps back on. Easy, okay? You gotta make it work. You gotta make it do what it do, okay? I'm just trying to tell y'all. Be creative. Be creative. So I've used, I used to use my, um, the wand, the wand, the curling wand without the clamps, the new ones they got. I used to use that, but I found this one in my, um, bin full of hot combs and flat irons and all them gadgets. It was in there. So. My mom holds on to good things. Shout out to you, mommy. Uh -huh. so. You want to play with your hair and do a lot of things to it so you like it. I know that's what I do. I be it all day, every day. Okay. But look at that slayage. I mean, come on. Really? Slayage. That's all I'm saying to you. Slayage. So I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Lay it down. Hot comb it. Yes. So dope. So, oh yeah, that burnt. I burnt myself. And if you work with me, you saw what that looked like. Maybe that's what they don't tell you about you to get fucking injured on this shit. <laughs> what they don't tell you is <laughs> the real T <thesis>. sis. <laughs> But yes, look at that part. Yes, honey. And I don't make a straight, straight part because I don't like things to be perfect. Like, my parts ain't real perfect in real life neither. So, I don't make a bone straight, straight. Unless it's straight hair, then I will make a straight part. But with curly hair, nah. I like it to just look natural. That's your hair, sir? You grew that? What you use, rice water or something? How you get your hair like that? Your hair long as hell. Uh -huh. Stay, get the wig. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this series. 
and you know let me know what you like about it like what you didn't like and questions put it in the comment section rate comment subscribe all that jazz and this was actually really fun you guys and again like slay slay crazy okay get you a frontal try this method out show me some pictures about how it looked and you know you already know i'm gonna catch y'all in that next video get y'all wigs popping go out there and slay shit summer coming get lit okay